When the rain started yesterday evening, it all looked like a child's play. Gradually, water level increased and flood started. Houses submerged and people rendered homeless. At Akiele area of Ibado, it was a sorry case as people of Ilagbeja community in Akingbile under Akiele local government were cut off by the flood. Akingbile area in Akiele local government and right now I'm standing um, in the water. As you can see, it's almost getting to my knee level and this is what people have to go through to cross from um, this part of the road to the other part that has actually cut off a lot of people. They are calling on the state government to do something significant to make sure that this situation is corrected. I'm a soldier from Meduguri. So now I'm going for my medication in to the medical center, so I have no choice than to charge through the water. Wow. Although it's not easy, but you just have to pass through because you have no other way. Wow. place has been always eroded by water many times like this, but it has been stopped for some time. It happened yesterday when I was coming back from the office. Getting to this place, you see that every, every place has been flooded. It's a great pleasure because the moment we allowed uh, the people around uh, to see BCOS, Coming here, we can see them using drone to cover the situation. I believe with these uh, new measures, there will be changes. Right now, I have Honorable Tunde Kende. He is representing Akiele Constituency 2 in the Oyo State House of Assembly. I want to speak with him now to give us the assessment of the situation. Yes, sir. How would you describe what is actually happening here? Well, it's, um, it's pathetic. I was woken up this morning by my by the people living in Lagbeja as in my one of in my constituency. A lot of school children could not go to school. A lot of people could not go to work. So I had to come despite the fact that we are on retreat, I had to cut it short and just come to visit the same. The same was the case at Jerry Kuta area of Ibado as houses were also affected. Government agencies were seen parading and marking buildings on floodplains. The situation here is so terrible. The flood has been a disaster to the community. Again, at Olodo area of Ibado, an unconfirmed report has it that at least two lives were lost in the flood that rendered a lot of people homeless while victims tried salvaging the rest of their properties lost in the flood. How the hair, how good the story is. <laughs> Did they laugh? <laughs> I thought some of them would step down so that we can. Eh, that no. But I'm happy Wally. But I could do another. Now I'm going to go Wally. But I'm happy Lily. Or they do take it over. What about the Kumha? Let me see. So I do take it. Or they do that. But if my dad, we meet him boyly. They put you. They put you on one corner. Do I look? Eh, not even. Perfect. Yeah. Be nicky, Joba, you move, wash, she lano, 
We intend to partner with uh, the state to see what we can do. If it is the culvert thing, you know it's their own work to do. But for those who are affected in one way or the other, we will see what uh, the agency, our own agency can do. A quick one. As victims were busy counting their losses, this man made quick business from fishing. Fishes he got from the flood. We never can tell if these fishes came from a pond that was actually washed away. How many have you gotten? I think uh, about seven. Seven? Yeah, exactly. Wow. It is well. Flood has become a menace in the society with serious and severe damages. But these things could have been avoided if floodplains are avoided and refuse are not dumped on waterways. Shade Shege Ojo, Mr. News.